In this video, we shall discuss that how this is empty method can be used with one sample Scala coding and its required explanation, execution and from the output. So, here is the demonstration for the better clarity. To be more consistent with the goal of making everything an object as well as the, to conform the functional programming conventions, Scala encourages us to use the option type for variables and function return values when they may or may not refer to a value. So, so as a result of that when there is no value use none an object that is a subclass of option and when there is a value use sum which wraps the value and sum is also a subclass of option class. So now let me go for this example and following is the example program to show how to use is empty method to check if the option is none or not. So here we are using this method is empty and is empty method returns boolean in is empty you can find this one it returns boolean that means it will return true or false. So here this val a it is containing option int so it will be holding some value there and option int sum 5 so 5 has been kept and here this particular uh, b is there which is option int and containing none. So at first we are printing this a and b so just find the output here. So sum 5 and none here we have uh, printed a and b we have got sum 5 for a and none is the value in b. So now we are checking this a dot is empty. So when you are running this code we are getting false because a is not false it is having sum 5. But in case of b dot is empty, it is returning the boolean that is true because b is having none here. So in this way, in this example, we have shown you that how to use is empty method to check if the option is none or not. Thanks for watching this video.